Hello. Today we're looking at expats and how we can make them kind of more future proof and also how we can shorten them. They can be quite long because if you use a class name which is very long then you end up with a very long XPath because the XPath uses the class name. To get around that and also mitigate against the chance of the website owner changing some of the CSS or the name of the class, you reduce that risk by using contains or starts with. So let's have a look at that, shall we? Okay, so I've got um, Scrapey Shell open here. Let me start from the beginning. If you're not familiar with Scrapey Shell, uh, if you've got Scrapey installed on your system, then you will be able to type Scrapey space shell. Close quote, close parentheses, press enter. Spider opened. Response 200. Good. Okay, so Scrapey Shell has re retrieved uh, that page. So now we can query the response. So what we're going to look at is extracting the business names. So you will know from my code that I had originally quite a long selector to do that. It was called uh, company name, V underscore company name. And the class names on this website were very long. So, partly to enable me to use a shorter name and still uniquely identify the elements that I want and also this future proofs your code slightly because were the class name or the CSS to be modified there's potential that the name of the link would remain the same or the the name of the the, the, the text on the page would remain the same so if you're looking for an element that contains something there's a greater chance that that will remain even if the CSS or the um, the page is modified. Right, you want to see some code. So, this is what we are looking for. Now, this will uniquely identify the business names. However, I can't promise that we will get exactly 20. Will we to get more than 20? The reason I say 20 is because there's 20 results per page. If we get more than 20, for instance, if we get 23, uh, one way to filter that would be to use slice. However, let's see what we get. So, response.xpath is the standard scrapey format for writing a selector. You could have also written response.css, and inside the parentheses, you would then be putting the CSS for the element that you want to identify. Here we're putting the two forward slashes. I'm using the wildcard asterisk here. Okay, so in the past you will have always seen me use class, so class equals. Here we're using contains. From there, the square bracket up to there, everything inside there is called the predicate. Predicate. So we've got contains, and then we have the parentheses with at href, comma. So we're telling it we want to find everything that the ahref contains if it's got biz. And if it has, then we want to return that href, and we're going to do get all. Actually, let me just do get first. So we'll run it with get. And it's found the first result, and you may recognise London Bash Engineers Dash Company Bash. London, well, London Engineers Company. That was the first result in my code. 
which you would have seen if you watched the previous video. So if we do, instead of get, we'll do get all. And there we go. So we found London Engineers. Ah, looks like we found London Engineers Company's plumbers, London Engineers Company HRD. So we found an ID there as well. Right, Bob's Handyman Services equals plumbers. Bob's Handyman Services equals plumbers. But Biz, Bob's. Okay, so we found many links for Bob's Handyman Services. No, that is too many. So we need to refine that search a bit more. Or what we might want to do is find the text. If we look for the text, hopefully we'll find just the text for each company name on that page. So we have 20 companies per page. Let's see what we get here. So it contains href biz. We know the link starts with biz and we just want the text and we want to get all. And I think that is pretty good. What you will see, however, is it's gone down to SEI GHT, which you'll remember was the 20th result. We've also got two extra here. So again, you could slice and just go from 0 to 20 and that would and leave out those two. Or we could start doing things like contains, biz, um, and then you could potentially do something such as and not contains. I'll show you that in a minute where we combine um, starts with and then we add in and not. So that's a good way of getting all of the business names from a very short selector compared to what we had before which when we used the full class name <laughs> it went off the edge of the page. So there we go. Right let's look at another one. Okay, so what if we wanted to extract all of the hrefs that began with Yelp? We want to find all of the Yelp support pages, the other Yelp links and so on. So we would do something like starts with. So again, the predicate if you remember back, the the usual format was to use the forward slashes and depending on what you were doing, you would need the period symbol. So period symbol, then two forward slashes, then the tag. So that's the same. Then the square bracket, that's the same. So the only thing we're changing here is what's inside of the predicate. So hopefully that makes it easier to remember. Once you, if you're already familiar with XPaths, I'm using class and ID and tags and so on and class name. All you're actually changing here is instead of class you're using starts with or contains from the last example then parentheses so before we were doing uh, at class name or at id equals here we're just using starts with and then parentheses and inside we're giving it we're passing it that we want to get the href and that we want all hrefs starting with https www.yelp so let's run that and you can see it's returned quite a few yelp support.com support.com yelp for business owners so instead of the instead of that let's see what happens if we put in here let's try and get the text instead yeah there we go so with this nice starts with instead of picking out all the class names and so on we very quickly filtered down to just pick out yep support reservations Wi-Fi business support blog for business support now imagine we wanted to find if we're writing a large spider and we want to find the contacts page then we could quite easily using starts with then pick out any links or text to do with contact for instance or 
telephone number or yeah if we were if we were doing hotels we could pick out reservations or so on so yeah two there look starts with we picked out the hrefs which got us all that and then make it just pick out the names the human readable bits we used we just used forward slash text which is what we use when we're just picking out class names so starts with and contains only the only difference is that they appear inside the predicate instead of the class or the ID. So you have starts with, followed by what you want to find, and then the specific examples that you want to filter by. So that starts with, we've looked at contains, let's look at one more. So just to uh, finish off, we've done contains, we've done starts with, now we're going to look at using or. So we're going to do that starts with what we've just seen at href yelp or starts with official no we're gonna it's that it's gonna be true if it finds anything beginning with yelp or anything beginning with official and we're going to get all if we just did get I'll show you what happens it just gets one result as yelp as get always does so even though we've used or which should find multiple results because we've done get it's just found the first one so let's change the get to get all so now we will find everything that begins with yelp or, or begins with official and there you can see we have found officialblog.yelp.com we found yelp.noweight we found I think that's the two we found so let's just instead of so now we've got two results and we want to just outside of the predicate then we can do the familiar forward slash text parentheses and there we go so we've got Yelp blog Yelp waitlist and blog and we found those by specifying that we want the text of hrefs filtered down to anything starting with Yelp or anything starting with official. So there you go. The code is on my GitHub page. And bear in mind that one of the examples I showed you right at the start, you may need to use slice. And you also can do other things such as strip and replace because if you look closely, you've got it's also found more. So Ideally, you will then go on and strip out more and then slice to get just the first 20 results. I've sliced to get the first 20 results, but if you need to do more things, then you can do strip, replace, and so on. That's not specific to XPath, so I won't go into it here. But this has hopefully showed you how XPaths are, can be very powerful and they can also save you using regular expressions so that is a big bonus and that's yet another reason to use them so um yeah if you look there if you remember how long that class name was and i did use it but i had to I had to uh put all of this class name into a separate file called my class names because it was completely messing up my main spider code so i then converted that into a variable and then i've used a variable here however if I just used something like this to begin with, contains, or starts with, I could have had a nice short XPath selector and I could have just used it here. So um, yeah, credit to RNS for um, recommending this to me. Um, it's something I've been meaning to look into and do a video on for a while. So I hope this has been of use. And if you want to find my code, then you can find it via my website or via it's hub and the link is in the description so thanks for watching and um yeah see you soon don't forget to subscribe subscribe subscribe